Oh, look, there we go. No. Oh, no. We got hit by one of the cars. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, and goodbye. Okay, okay, do not panic. The video does not end there. That was my own power play for power play right there on the comment right on the screen. I thought that'd be a good way to start the video. Hello, guys. How's it all going? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. My name is Lex, and welcome back to GTA 5, where today... I thought we'd do something a little explosive, because I think this is going to be some good fun. There is a mod called Total Carnage. Now, you might have seen some mods like this before, but I think this mod really does it the best, and that is why I'm focusing on this one and not all the other mods that have come before it. I'm just going to do a video on just this one. And I'm going to try and do some really cool things and see what fun we can have with it. So the whole point of this mod is whenever you get within a certain range of a person or a car, the person will die or the car will explode. This is going to make for some good fun because I think we're going to be able to fly a plane quite close to the ground and make it happen. I think we, I don't know, ride a bike. I think there's loads of cool things that we could do so I'm going to try them all out in this video. But before we do any of that, if I actually, let me show you the first part and then I'll answer some questions. So if I start the, uh, start the whole mod up by pressing Alt and O. Whoa! Okay, that was a beautiful way to start it off. Let's turn off exploding cars. Let's get rid of that. And uh, let's make sure to turn off uh, vehicle velocity. I'm going to turn them all on gradually, and you're going to see what happens. And let's turn off, or let's turn, yeah, let's turn go off for the moment. So right now, what I've set this mod to do is purely just kill people when I get within a certain distance. As you might see, oh, hang on. Is that person alive? No, they're, they're, they're still alive. Hang on. Let me press this button. There we go. Now we're going to hear a beautiful symphony of people screaming as they all die. There we go. Look, they're all just, everyone is just sort of going mad because they're all, oh, oh. Oh, that's a shame that plane wasn't too close because that would have been an amazing thing. I actually want to do that. I want to fly close to a plane and see if the plane just falls from the sky as the driver crashes, uh, well, because he dies and then just crashes the plane. I think that would be amazing. So there you go. Look, people are just falling to the ground. In fact, actually, if I turn, uh, if I turn this off, and I turn this off, and let's go over to some pedestrians right here. And then I'm going to press the button so you can see what it's like up close. Here we go. <laughs> Look at that. They just ragdoll to the ground, they faint, and they die. However, if I turn on gore by pressing 7, and then I do it again, what happens? They fall to the ground, but blood spurts everywhere. So that is a really cool thing, just to kill loads of people. It makes for a really weird sound. Let's just give a listen to this as we drive around here. Hang on, let's find some people. Look out. Lovely, lovely, lovely amounts of screaming. I'm actually going to turn that off, and I'm going to turn Gore off, and I'm going to answer a couple of questions here. First one is from Sam White. It says, are you going to get Need for Speed for the PC? Hell yes, I'm going to get Need for Speed for the PC. I really wanted to play it. I was really annoyed when it was uh, announced that the PC wasn't going to get it until this year. But as soon as it comes out, yes, I will be doing videos on it. Hopefully lots of videos. We'll see how it all goes and how the game works. I don't know what the game's like yet. I assume it's going to be fine. Next comment question is from Cyanide Gaming. It says, hey Lex, what is your opinion on the R33? Do you think it is the ugly duckling out of all the skylines? The R33 is the one that has appealed to me the least. I don't know, I just see it as sort of like the big, fatter brother of the R32. And it hasn't excited me as much, but it's still a cool car. And actually, I think that because when uh, because the art prices of R32s have actually gone up because of the demand from Americans, because of the 25-year rule, I think uh, it's probably a good idea to maybe invest in an R33 now, because I think the prices will only go up. So uh, that, that's my uh, thoughts. I might be completely wrong, but I feel that is what's going to happen with the prices of R33s once they come into that age range of being legal in the United States. So there's my thought on that. And I guess that's everything. Let's start making cars explode. Let's press it. Here we go. Oh, no, not that button. It's this one. There we go. Oh, my God. There we go. Now let's just go full pelt. And I have got my 360 controller working again. So I'm going to have a lot of fun driving properly. Oh, look at that. And you may notice that only cars that have got people driving them explode. All the parked cars don't explode. So that's an interesting touch. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, this is fantastic. This is a great game, actually. 
If I, hang on, I need to get a faster car. If I just modify this car right now. In fact, actually, instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drive a sports car instead of a muscle car. I think this is going to be a lot faster and a lot easier. Here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> In fact, the motorway, this is where it's going to be good. Let's turn it off for now. Let me get onto the motorway, and then we're going to have some real fun. Okay, we're on the motorway. There's a bunch of cars. I'm going to get closer to them, then I'm going to explode them. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. Now, instead of them just exploding, where in this case they explode straight upwards, you can turn on vehicle velocity, and what happens is when they explode and fly in the air, they fly in the direction of the car, which means that you get some sort of like, it looks like a shockwave. So I'm going to press six, and here we go. As they explode, they should explode. Oh, God, I need to catch up. Here we go. Now they are flying forwards, because we are flying forwards, or driving forwards, rather. Oh, my God, that car just then actually just came up from the street below. That was amazing. There is so much shaking and stuff going on the screen right now. I can barely see a thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> This is amazing. Let's turn this off for now. And I want to turn it back on now. Woo! Look at them fly forward. And we'll try again. I'm going to turn off exploding cars. Nope, that's on. So now I've turned it off. When I set it off, they should all fly straight up. There we go. They're all flying straight up. And again. Whoa! Oh, this is a fun game because it looks like you can... Oh, no, I'm on fire. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's good. It's still good. And go! Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, wow. Seems that my car's now on fire. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, well, actually, that's a good thing. Now that I'm dead, let's change vehicles. Okay, I've got myself a bike. This is going to be great. Some cars have already exploded from when I spawned. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, yes. Oh, this is amazing. Look at that door flying around. So this is really good. Enable to, like, you can just dodge all the cars as they explode in front of you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I think this would be great with a police chase. Let's get some police after us. This is going to be great. Okay, I've got a three-star wanted level. This is great. I think what I might do, actually, is make myself invincible, as I think we're going to die incredibly quickly right here. Okay, now I'm invincible, so now I can just go for it. We've got all these, all these helicopters right now. As soon as they get even close to me, they just blow up. Oh, this is amazing. Look at this. I wonder if the police will actually... Oh, look, it does! As soon as all the police explode, there's no police to find me. Oh, that is a really easy way to clear your wanted level. Look at that. That is fantastic. Oh, my God. This is great. This is so great. So let's go to the airport because I think this is going to be a great place to get our next vehicle. Okay, that plane that's moving, I wonder if it's going to explode. Let's see. Three, two, one. Yes, it does it. It does it. It actually explodes. Oh, my God. <laughs> That is absolutely fantastic. I think we can actually escape the police doing this. I think this is going to work. Oh, my God. This is great. This is this is so great. This is definitely the best out of all the Carnage mods that I've seen. This one definitely does it the best, I feel. Oh, God. There's actually... Here's some people. I don't think there's anyone in the dump truck. Oh, no. But there is a quad bike. This is going to be great. In fact, oh, the police have gone. It doesn't matter. Okay. Well, never mind the quad bike. Let's get in a plane. This is going to be so great. I've completely forgotten how to fly planes. I rarely fly planes, actually, in this game. That's one thing to note. So this could go incredibly wrong. There's already explosions happening on the ground right now. Oh, my God. I can hear them. This is great. This is great. I might actually go to first person mode. Oh, look. They're flying down there. Hang on. Have we got velocity on? We have got velocity on. Here we go. Get these buses right here. Here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> This is great. This is great. I want to get to the open sort of that highway there where it's nice and open and there aren't things to crash into. But everything below us is blowing up right now. Oh, my God. This is great. <laughs> oh, my God. And look, because we're flying really fast, they are just completely flying in the same direction that we are because of this vehicle velocity. If we turn this off right now, they should just... There we go. Now they're just sort of exploding in their own little area. But if we turn that back on, they're going to fly along with us. Here we go. Look, there they go, flying along. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is so great. I want to go to first-person mode on this and see what it looks like from the inside. 
Oh, you can Oh, look, there you go. No. Oh, no. <laughs> we got hit by one of the cars. Oh, that was fantastic. That was absolutely brilliant. And in fact, every car that comes even close is still just exploding. I think there's a lot of cars exploding right above me. I think that's where all that stuff is coming from. Okay, let's get out of here. That is incredible. Let's get a helicopter now, as I think that is a good next, uh, a good step up, I think, from the plane. What should we go for? The Valkyrie. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Can we get up? Can we get up? Oh, that was... <laughs> that was brilliant. Oh, that is just amazing. Look at this. In fact, this is a really good way to show the velocity because these people are actually coming in my direction and they're still flying back because we're going in this direction. It looks like a shockwave. Look at that. Oh, that is great. Let's just turn it off again so you can see. There we go. That's what it looks like without. Just sort of exploding in the air. And now with velocity. Yeah! Velocity is amazing. Oh, this is just great. This is just great. Okay, what I want to do is I want to turn off exploding cars. And I want to turn on kill peds. And I want to try and find something in the air. Because I want to see if it will, if the person who's driving it will die and it will fall to the ground. Now we just need to find a plane somewhere. Oh, look, there's a blimp. Let's see if it works with the blimp. This, oh, God. If this works with the blimp, this would be amazing. Because blimp explosions are always great. If anyone played GTA 3, can you remember? In fact, no, it wasn't the blimp on GTA 3. It was the actual, like, the planes that you saw from the sky. If you blew one of those up with a uh, rocket launcher, you got, like, an instant six stars and a huge explosion. It was amazing. Right, here we go. This should kill the driver of the blimp. And it should fall down. There we go. Oh, there it goes. Oh, God, we're hitting it as well. That doesn't help. Oh, God, move away, move away. There it goes. He's going down. He's going down. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Oh, look, there's a plane taking off over there. We're going to watch this explode. Oh, look, this is drifting down to the ground. Three, two, one. Oh, brilliant. Oh, this is great. Even without the explosion things, just having the people that are in vehicles dying and then them crashing is just so cool as well. Let's just try and reach this plane over here and see what havoc we can cause. Mind you, he's over the ocean, so I don't think it's going to be a fantastic crash, but... Oh, actually... Oh, look, there's one over there. There's one over there. Oh, there's one there as well. Oh, God, there's planes everywhere. That plane's flying way too fast. Oh, there's loads of planes in the sky now. What's up with that? There's a helicopter over there as well. Let's just try and catch up to one of them. Maybe this helicopter here, as I think we're getting close to him right now. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. I don't know what the uh, radius is, but I guess we'll soon find out when we get in range, because it will just start to fall. Here we go. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> oh, God, it's going to land in the sea. He's lost complete control. Oh, God. No, don't hit it. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. Oh, this is brilliant. This... <laughs> It's now just sort of crazily gliding towards the ground. I'm going to try and not hit it as we try and follow it down on its journey. I think it's definitely going to go in the sea, though. I don't think it's going to fly towards land at this point. And here we go. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> right, I'm going to get right up into the sky because I'm going to spawn myself in a plane again because I think it's going to be a lot faster to catch up with a plane being in a plane and not so much in a helicopter. Let's find out. Right, let's get a vehicle spawner, planes, and try not to crash this thing. What should we go for? Something like a... Oh, something fast. I think we'll go with the Bezras. I don't know what one of those is. Oh, wait, it doesn't spawn me in, does it? Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, let's give this another go. There we go. Oh, we got it. We got it. Woo. That was cool. That's a really dark... Oh, it's US Air Force. Nice. I think what I'm also going to do is I'm going to change the speed multiplier as well on this thing. Vehicle multiplier. Get some more acceleration. Oh, okay. That's what makes... Oh, okay. No, no, no. I guess that messes with that. Oh, no. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. We're really getting close to that plane. I think I got it. I think I got it. I heard some screaming. I heard some screaming. I think we need to turn our speed down because this is ridiculous. Let's just fly as normal because I think we're really going to mess with things there. But I'm pretty sure I just... I think we've missed it. I think if he's going to crash, we're not going to see where he's going to crash. I heard a crash though. I heard an explosion. 
We must have got him, but we want to actually have visual confirmation on this. Where's there another plane? Why are all the planes not in the sky anymore? I couldn't have dropped all of them out of the sky. There has to be a plane somewhere in this airspace. Oh, look, there we go. Look, there's a plane. There's a plane. Here we go. I think he's going to be slightly too fast for us. Let's see. I want to try and catch up. Oh, God. We might have to get on. Oh, I see what's happening. When I'm using the uh, thing on the numpad, it's actually controlling the plane. That's why it was flipping around. I just noticed what was happening there. Okay, vehicle multipliers. And it's going to spin round once. Spin round, spin round, spin round. Okay, now we've got some more speed. Where is he? He's over there. Let's go. Oh, I'm so much faster now. I can catch up. Here we go. Has that got him? It's got him. It's got him. Oh, God. I think we might have to... I think it's got us as well. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm trying to catch it, but I'm also trying to fly as well. Where did he go? Oh, he's over there. He's over there. He's over there. Oh, he's just gone out of view. Oh, look, there's another one. There's another one. We can get. We can do it this time. <laughs> this is getting really exciting, but it's really hard to sort of look back at the plane because, like, let's try and slow down here now that we're catching up with him. It's not too much. Here we go. It's much better with the helicopters. We can track it. Here we go. Getting close. Need to get a bit closer, maybe. A bit closer. There we go. It's happened. It's happened. Oh, God. Wait, we need to look back and down. There he goes. Oh, wow. Look at that. That looks beautiful <laughs> as it flies down. And into the sea it goes. Oh, my God. That is amazing. Well, I guess that is it. That is it for this mod. That is it for this video. That was absolutely fantastic. I love this. I love this. Let's just do one last thing going over the over the road. Just having all the cars explode because that is so great. Here we go as we get close. And oh, I turned explosions off, didn't I? Here we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, -hoo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo. oh God. This is just so brilliant. This is absolute. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. We're still good. Flying upside down doing it. Okay, that didn't work. And we're down. <laughs> oh, that was... Oh, I like that flying, Michael. That was great. Well, there we go, guys. That is it. If you've watched all the way to the end of this video, then say Air Force One. Although this wasn't Air Force One, but just say Air Force One in the comments. That just lets me know that you watched all the way to the end. Don't cheat. If you didn't watch all the way to the end or you skipped through, then don't comment it. Leave a different comment. I would always read out comments and questions as well. So if you want your comments and questions featured or answered, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter at figure8. Link is in the description. If there's anything else... Uh, oh, yeah, if you want to get your own loot crates, again, link in the description below and use the code LEXCRATE and you can get 10% off your first order. And it uh, not only gives you a great deal, but it also helps the channel out as well. So that's uh, there's sort of like a sponsor of the channel that I really don't plug enough and I really should plug a lot more. So there we go, guys. That is it. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.